So let's go ahead and take a little bit of uh, travel back in time and talk about our actual developer unit. This is an automatic developer. So if I go and put some undeveloped x-rays in here, it'll go through the process and go over here and get developed. And then it'll go and pop out over here in this little tray that uh, ends at the spot. But let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside here so that we can look at the guts of this machine and see how it works. But of course, at first, before we ever do anything, we're going to want to always use gloves. So let's go ahead and put some gloves. Let's do a little glove jitsu. Awesome. Now that we have our gloves on, let's go ahead and take a look at my actual guts of this machine. With that, as we go and look at all the different compartments and everything that we have, let's start right over here at the top where we go and actually load our x-rays. There's going to be this little window that you will refuse to open while you actually have films in there uh, until they are actually dropped into the system. But if you were to open this latch, we can see this like amber hood that we can go and view our films in here while we are going and disposing of them and getting them all uh, put in their slots. To be able to put our x-ray films in there, we're going to have armholes on the right and left side that we can go and insert ourselves into to go and handle a lot of those x-ray uh, disassemblings. If we go over here to the front right here, which is going to be a very dangerous spot, you don't want to open this door too often, but if you do, you want to make sure that nothing's in there, everything is ran through. So let's go ahead and open it. Oh! Oh, oh never mind. I thought there was a monster in there. Well, if we look in here, we're going to see that we have different sections. Developer, fixer, and wash station. And if we go ahead and just open and take this whole bit off, then we can go and see the actual guts to this. Hold on. Where's my stuff at? Hold on, wait. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, so I just already disassembled it. So this is where a lot of our basins will go into there. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So we're going to have these little areas and gears that are going to need to be cleaned and make sure it's maintained so that this doesn't break down on us. Going over here, though, if we go to our little black bin, red bin, water bin, this is going to require some liquid that's specifically for these bins. Right here I have some developer that's going to go into black. You can get that right by doing black top, black bin, red top, red bin. And this is just going to be just straight water with a little water line that might be on a fill bottle or there's going to be a little level that goes on the inner part of this little basin that we're going to work on. So we're going to make sure all these basins are clean. There's Make sure that there's no crystals, no leftover bits, no grime, no uh, algae or anything built up in here. So that's always fresh whenever we refill it and start processing x-rays. But if we go and shift those off to the side, let's go and... And now we're going to go to the actual mechanics of our actual unit. This is going to be the main piece that is going to go and deliver our x-rays. When we put our films, they're going to fit into one of these eight slots. And after they're in these eight slots, we're going to go and pull down on this pin right here. And that's going to lock it and open up this door here to drop the films all the way down. After this goes and drops them down and it'll lock it so you can insert new films, they're going to go through this little uh, adventure. Well, they'll fall in and go into this first bin, which is going to be submerged in our developer. Then it'll go in here for a certain amount of time. These little uh, metal arms are going to shift and rotate to push them along. They'll come up, shift, rotate, go into our fixer solution. After it goes through that little section, go up, and then it's going to go down into our water solution to be able to get washed and rinsed. And it'll go out to this next area, which leads over to our drying bay. So when it goes into here, there's going to be a nice heater that's built into here. If working, it's going to dry your films and it's going to make sure that they are nice and prepared to go and be mounted as they come out and fall into these little slots that are perfect for managing your x-rays. You see over here, right above this is going to be a on and off button. Make sure they are both on to be able to power the whole system. And let's go ahead and look at our bins. With our three bins that we have here, our black, red, and white, we are going to go and place them in their proper places. So it's usually going to be black at the beginning, but because I can't push it all the way to the left, the issue being is that there's a thermometer that's right here that must be inside that bin. So if I go and lift this thermometer piece upwards, it will allow me to slide my, red, my black bin all the way to the left, and then I can go and dip the thermometer down in its rightful place. 
Our red bin will go right next to it as it has its little spot for it. And this is gonna be a special one because our actual water bin is going to have this little drain tube right here at the bottom. And this has to go and fit into a special spot that's right down here that must be specifically secured to not have any leaking in the system. So when you go place this in, we're going to go and line it up specially and we're going to just insert it down without doing too much leveraging backs and forths and backs and forths. So as I go and push this down to secure it in its position, it will snugly fit into place. So now it'll snugly fit into place and we can start filling up all of our bins with our materials. After you have all your bins filled with your liquids, then we're gonna go over here to our processing rack. This is gonna easily just go and slip down into these little basins. Like I mentioned, it's gonna go a little bit into the developer, a little bit into the fixer, wash it out, and it goes and spits it out into the drying section to go and get ready for mounting. But as we go over here, we have to make sure that this actual processing piece is in a proper place. If you go over here to the left side, there's gonna be this little pin that sticks up over here on the left. There's gonna be this little pin that sticks over here to the left, and that's going to mate right into this little piece right here. So we wanna make sure that it is properly in there and inserted, just like so. Now that this is nice and in place, we can go and place back our hood top right over. Make sure that this is nice and snug so that we don't have any light that can pierce through here and ruin our x-rays, getting us super frustrated. So now that I went and checked over all my pieces and it looks like it's all good, one thing that's going to stick out from this, like I mentioned, that water tube, is, or like I mentioned, that water bin, is going to drain out over here where we have this little drain knob. If I go and put it into an open or closed fashion, it's going to go and leak out all that water to this tube which I have over here that's going right into the sink. So make sure this is in the sink whenever you're going to drain it. This is our little rack. It just goes and slips right into there. And of course we're gonna to need to power this baby. So let's go ahead and go and plug that in and listen to that baby purr. So, plug, so now I'm plugged in, I go and hit the buttons. Man, that sounds great. One of the issues that can happen is if your, if your heater is busted is because when someone was using this, they may have accidentally put something on top, say like an x-ray film, and it went and slid down like Plinko and just got itself caught inside that heating element and just short-circuited. You might need to get a replacement piece, look through a website that's reputable to go and change it out. It's not too difficult to do. A big piece that comes to this is the maintenance of this equipment. So if I go here and try to take it apart, I'm gonna go take this little piece off on the side. I'm gonna go and remove the whole hood, put it off to the side over here. And I'm going to go and remove my actual processing piece and I'm gonna remove the tub so I can go and give them a nice scrub. Once again, we're gonna go and pull this off. And sometimes when we do that, there's gonna be a lot of splash and uh, there's gonna be a lot of liquid in here that's going to fall and try to splatter. Try to reduce that and put it on a little rack over here that's going to hold, put it on a rack over here that's going to hold my pieces while I go and do a little bit of maintenance. If I need to remove my tubs, like I mentioned before, the black one is secured in by this little thermometer piece that I'm gonna lift up and I'm gonna go and give it a nice little wash over here. The proper equipment that we're going to go and clean this out with is going to be the spray A2000 material that we're just going to go and get all the fixer, developer, and all that gunk out of all this section because we don't want any of this residue to go and transfer onto our films and give us a bad time. So that along with a nice non-abrasive sponge is going to clean all the rack on the inside, clean the gears that are on the back. Be careful with these gears. Once a gear loses a tooth, just like we do here, it's going to be a bad time. So. Keep in mind when you're doing this. Keep in mind when you are cleaning this to be gentle, rinse it really good, make sure you're using the proper cleaners, Don't, do not use bleach at all. Um, and once it's nice and dried, we can go and start working on re-putting it back together. On the next part of this video, we're gonna go and use our films, get it loaded into the system, and how to go and wait for them at the end so that we can go and properly mount them. Have a good one.